What is going on? Well today, start a new project. Bought me a boat. There she is. 12 foot semi V. Pretty standard, pretty simple. There's only about a million of these. But I'm doing some modifications. I have a 16 foot deep feed that I use on the river for hunting and for fishing in the summer. But the restricted lakes around here, you're only allowed a 9.9 on some and a 20. So I have a 9.9 for this that I got. You can see right here. I think it's like a 98 or something. Started up, runs great. But my plans for this boat are I'm going to leave the front seat, I'm going to leave the back seat, tearing these seats out, tearing this seat out, the center one, and I'm putting a floor in it. Got the plywood right over there. But putting a floor the whole way down it so I can like kind of use it as almost like a marsh hunting boat. So I can lay down on the floor, maybe me and another guy and I'll have a slant back here so we can lay down, bury it in some uh, cattails and stuff. Also, so I can layout hunt some smaller but or smaller lakes. I can just drag the layout boat behind me and carry all the decoys and stuff in this and use this as a tender boat. So we will get started on this project. See how we do. So before I get started on this project, I just want to go over some things. If you're thinking about buying a duck boat or what you, and don't know what you want, I just want to give you some pointers. I went with a semi-V because even some of the lakes we hunt, even though they're small, not really that small, but they're restricted to 9.9, they still get pretty kicked up during the winter time. We'll get like one, almost two foot waves. So I want a V so I can cut through it. If you're hunting like marshes and stuff and small lakes, you don't need a V, just go with the flat bottom because you're not dealing with waves. But if you're anytime dealing with waves, you're not going to want that flat bottom. So it's going to toss you around, you're going to be uncomfortable. V cuts through better. Also, everybody's afraid to cut out this middle seat because they think it's going to make the sides wobbly. Once you put a floor in it, you're not yanking on the sides. It's going to be perfectly fine. I mean, the reason I'm ripping it out from the floor, you have so much more room. You have all your, put all your decoys in. You can lay down in it if you want to like use it as almost like a blind hunting out of it. You have a ton more room, more floor space, better boat. Also, sorry about that light up there. That ungodly noise you're hearing, that's coming from that. If you think it's annoying on the video, try doing all this work without going. After a while you just act like it's not there, but yeah, we're going to get started here. Well, first things first, got a drill, grinder, going to drill out these rivets, grind these all flush. There's some rivets down here. Got Grind and drill out. Same on that side. Let's get this puppy started. Okay. Well, once you get all your rivets drilled out and grinded flush off, your seat should pop right up. Like so. Just like that. Now, I'm going to drill out these tabs, rip all this stuff out, and then I'm going to get started on the plywood. I'm going to get all the measurements, measure each side a foot apart all the way across and then the length, draw it out, and then we'll cut her. Okay, well, we got the framing in the bottom of the boat before I put the plywood down. That ought to do. Okay, well, just a little advice from me. Before you put your floor down, Always, even if you're not going to use a light, run two wires. Because it's a hell of a lot easier to do it now than once you have the floor down. But you see I put construction adhesive on all the joints. So this thing should be pretty rock solid. I'll show you the plywood before I cut it. Always do a center line. Then measure your distances across. Mark them. Then just go on each side so it's perfectly even. Now we're going to cut her. Okay, before you glue it, as always, Test fitter, fits perfect. Now we're ready to glue. Well, got the glue on. We're ready to fit her and put her on. I use subfloor construction adhesive by Loctite. Use this stuff all the time at work. Glue floors down in houses, garages, all that stuff. I can assure you, you will feel bad for the next guy that puts a floor in your boat because once this shit dries, it does not come up, which is what you want. Well, the floor is down, glued in place. I always like to put something heavy on top. I got these heavy chunks of metal. You can use cement blocks, anything, for letting it set up to harden. It just helps it stick down, but 
yeah, that's it for tonight. Next time you'll be seeing her, I'll be painting it. What's going on? Well, it's a couple days later. Boat's painted, floor's in, motor's on, electric's done. Boat is ready to hunt. It's pretty awesome. Well, it ain't much. It's pretty simple. Just a 12-foot semi-V, but I decked it out how I like it. Paint job turned out awesome. Got the floor in, motor back there. Uh, on the floor, I put like a non-slip paint, almost like a rhino liner. So when you're like walking on with your wet waders, you're not going to slip and fall. Got the motor back here. Hook up my battery here, run all my wiring stuff over there to control the lights. Uh, Camoed the motor up pretty good. Really happy with how everything turned out. Made these little guys here. Made two of them. But uh, that's just so if I want to hunt and use this like a boat blind, I can lay down in it. That's like a little backrest made one for me and someone else whoever wants to hunt. But yeah, hopefully I can get this thing on some hunts soon and you guys can get some video or I can get you guys some videos of it hunting, but I'm really excited to use it. Heading up to camp for bear hunting this weekend, so I ain't gonna use it this weekend, but hopefully a little bit after Thanksgiving, I'll be able to take it out and get some hunting done. But yeah, sorry about the audio. Once again, that terrible light over there makes so much racket. Plus, we have hail and rain coming down outside on the roof, so that's making a little more extra racket. But yeah, hopefully you guys like the boat. So far, I love it and can't wait to hunt out of her. Well, Boat project is complete. Turned out awesome. Exactly how I wanted it, just simple. Open floor like that. Uh, paint turned out awesome. Love the camo pattern. Can't wait to take it out. Hopefully next week when I get back from bear camp, can take it out on some lakes, do some hunting. Maybe Thanksgiving day, I might go out in the morning. But yeah, it's just gonna be nice to be able to go out and dive or hunt some of these restricted lakes that are only restricted to nine, nine and 20 horsepower. Because we used to, because we had a boat that was able to do it, and we could pull the layout boat out to the lake to hunt divers, but we haven't been able to because all our boats, the group I hunt with, are over 20 horsepower. So we haven't been able to hunt these lakes in a while for divers. So it'll be nice to get the layout boat out in the water. So it'll be fun. Also, I can use this boat for hunting puddle ducks. You know, I'll be able to pull it into like some reeds and cattails, and I think it'll hide pretty well. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I get some good hunts. Get some good videos for you guys. But really excited how the boat turned out and can't wait to use it and see how it works. But as always, appreciate a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.